Welcome, I'm the Kaiju no Kami here at Denver Con 2017. I'm interviewing artist, inker, Joe Giella. Welcome, are you enjoying yourself? Certainly am. It's the best convention I've ever been to. Is this your first time at Denver Comic Con? Yes, first time. Now you have been around in the industry for over 70 years, correct? Uh, 72. What has it been like being in the industry and seeing it change so many times? Uh, well, I really didn't give it that much thought because uh, throughout the years they kind of kept me built busy and uh, uh, yes, I did notice the change. Uh, sometimes uh, uh, when the uh, when the, uh, the economy was bad and it wasn't that good for comic art and comic books, uh, we were worried, but then it turned around. It's like the stock market, it had its ups and downs. But uh, I still think it's a superhero oriented country and uh, look around. <laughs> so I think it's here to stay. And you're still working today, correct? Well, I'm, I'm retired. I did the, the Mary White strip for 25 years. Well, that's one of the strips. I worked on quite a few strips. The Batman strip, Mary Worth, The Phantom, Flash Gordon, Sherlock Holmes. and uh, But on Mary Worth, I put in 25 years, and I figured that's enough. See? So somehow they found out that I'm retired, and the, and the invitations from the conventions, they were coming out of the woodwork. <laughs> and uh, my, my rep, Jeffrey, uh, he took care of it, and uh, and so far I've gone to uh, uh, one in Baltimore, uh, Maryland, and the second one in the East Coast in New Jersey, and I just came back from uh, North Carolina, and now I'm here in, in beautiful Colorado. It is pretty nice here. I've been here for 11 years, and there's still things that surprise me with this place. I know. I asked you that before. You, you, li you like it. it. And I said to you, uh, or someone else, I said, if I could move my entire family here, I would move. <laughs> but uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful town. Have you ever been to San Diego Comic Con? Because I've heard that's quite full of people. Yes, see, they put my work on postage stamps and uh, they asked me to uh, come out to California for the unveiling of the stamps. And I met the mayor there and, uh, and uh, that's also a very nice town, beautiful climate. And, yeah, I've, I think I've been there three times. Now, you were worked on the original Flash comics when Barry Allen came into creation. What was it like? Because at that time period, from what I recall, there weren't like standalone superhero titles. They were just regular, st different like stories full of different titles, different uh, stories, right? Like uh, showcase and all that. Well, I do remember that, but uh, see, when it, I can't pinpoint. Each one, I, I can't, I can't answer that, but, uh, but I do remember that. You know, it's, uh, uh, I have a pretty good memory, but that, when it comes to uh, uh, answering questions like, on issue so and so, why did you do this, or, or showcase, see, I, I want to be accurate, so I'd rather not answer it because I know I'll get it wrong. <laughs> No worries, but what was it like working on Flash when Barry Allen was created and having him exist today still? Anytime a new character is introduced, uh, the, the excitement is there, you know. And of course, you also worry, you know, because along with the editors, they, they're worried. Uh, uh, everyone's thinking about, uh, uh, is this going to sell? And they usually base the next issue on the previous sales. See? So yeah, of course we we all worry a little bit, and the editors w worry more than the artists because we're so busy working uh, that you really don't have time to worry about that. But I know I did because uh, you know uh, times were rough then, and uh, I wanted to keep my job. You know, so you're talking about you know I was in my twenties then. You know, <laughs> so when I look at some of these books that I'm signing. 
I wish I had time to look through because they bring back s so many memories, you know. And uh, but you, you can't hold the line up, you know. And and uh, yeah. but I I I it do br it brings back a lot of memories, good and bad, because a lot of my friends that were artists in the book, they also they passed away. So they tell me I'm the oldest Batman artist alive. And I, and I tell them, don't tell me that, you're scaring me. <laughs> and is it true, though? Yeah. yeah. That is amazing, though. Jerry Robinson was the last one, and he passed, and, and here I am. So <laughs> what was it like to work on Batman in the infancy? Oh, wow. To me, that was the pinnacle, you know? And, uh, well, because... It's that question they ask me that all the time they say what's your favorite character well I, I like all the characters you know uh, including uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the the Adam the Adam <laughs> and the elongated man I, I love all the characters I've worked on practically all of them not only for DC but for Marvel I, I started with, with Timely Comics see and I don't know if you well of course you remember Captain America, the Human Torch, Submariner. Well, that's mm -hmm. what I started at. Not, not drawing them, but I was in the the bullpen. It's an area allocated to young artists where it's great training for a young artist. You do a little of everything, and uh, uh, and that's the characters I worked on. But uh, I've worked on practically all of them. And, and my my favorite was the Batman. Uh, uh, I, I thought he was a real terrific character. I, I also like uh, the movie version. I mean, the, uh, this I do remember. When they asked me to do the Batman strip, uh, I did it in a straight style, straight adventure strip style. And then I got a call from the editor and he says, Joe, uh, do me a favor, change the style a little bit. I mean, to tell that to an artist, that's crazy, you know. I'm doing this all along for years, and all of a sudden, you have to change your style in midstream, you know. And uh, he says, we want to simulate the show on TV. More of a campy look. They, at first, it was difficult for me to change, but I, I can't dictate to an editor. You know, he tells you what to do. And uh, so, that's what I did. I, I, little by little, I, I it had to be gra a gradual change, but I changed it to more of a camp style, and I got used to it, and I kind of liked it. Uh, in fact, the fellow bought a book here for me to sign just about ten minutes ago, and they had the Batman strips in there. This was one that they had the Conrad Hilton Hotel, and the and, and the writer asked me to. Uh, design the Conrad, Conrad Hilton Hotel and include Jack Benny in the strip. And I did. I bought a book on J Jack Benny and he had his photograph in there. And I, and I drew it until I got got his head right. And I incorporated him right into the strip. Yeah. But that's so I didn't... It didn't bother me too much doing it the camp style after a while. And uh, I guess you can get used to anything, you know. It's... Uh, Almost anything. See, I, I started out as an animator. I didn't think I was going to do adventure stuff. My very first book was uh, for Hillman Periodicals, and the editor was Ed Cronin. And the first assignment was to pencil and ink an animated feature called Captain Codfish. And <laughs> now, this was, I was 17 years old, 16 and a half years old when he gave me the assignment that's before I joined the Navy and uh, it's a fella that came here I think he has something to do with this show here and he has the original one uh, uh, what's his name Chandler Rice Chandler, you, do you know him? what's his name? Chandler Rice I think so, it sounds vaguely familiar but I can't think of what he's done off the top of my head something to do with this uh, this organization here but he's the one who uh, was very instrumental in getting us here so but he has 
the original comic book that I worked on. Okay? And uh, I have one home, but it's I wouldn't dare turn the page. They're all falling apart, you know? So old. But that's, the, that's the first one I worked on. I started out as an animator. And, but I, but I liked the, doing the adventure strip, so I went back to the adventure strip. So, wow, that is a lot. You have so much experience. That is amazing. I heard, though, that Trickster was your favorite to ink. Oh, uh, well, I, I like ink, ink and all of them. But Trickster is a very colorful villain. You know, I, I like doing that. Uh, I don't know if you know, see, Bob Kane used to have a, a TV show every Saturday or Sunday morning. And uh, he, I would walk with Bob Kane. He, he'd call me up, Joe, can you meet me in uh, at D.C. in Manhattan? I said, yeah, no problem. I'm going to be delivering next week. I'll see you there. And I'd walk to his apartment. And he would ask me to do some the drawings of villains large drawings on a huge pad about this so big and he would take these drawings that were done in a very light blue pencil and he would go on stage on an easel and he would take a magic marker and go over my light blue pencil marks and he'd come up with the villains they had to get a huge hand they and i remember my my kids would go, but Dad, that's not fair. I says, I says, I says Danny, it, it's his character, not mine. He, you know, he's commissioned me to do that. And uh, they didn't understand. <laughs> but but I did that for Bob. And uh, what else did I do? Uh, I don't know what else. Uh, I did, well, to answer your question, I did work on a lot of, a lot of features and assignments. I also did... 21 t-shirts for the Walt Disney Studio uh, and I remember my wife wait for the Disney store uh, for, for, for Disney studio oh studios okay through Allison manufacturing they were an apparel uh, 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 company and uh, they uh, they did all these t-shirts for, for Walt Disney Studio and uh, and, and I was the one who did 21 of them. They are the toughest people to work for. And, uh, but they're fair. They, every criticism was justified. <laughs> they, they, I remember one t-shirt had Minnie Mouse on the shirt. And, uh, and I, I practically traced it with my light box. I thought I had the head just perfect. And they, they bounced it. it. No, Joe, it's not what we wanted. I said, I, I practically traced the head. Where did I go wrong? And I, I called them up, and somebody answered the phone. He says, it was in the eyelashes. When they come out, at the end, turns up a little bit. Little subtleties, you know? I said, wow. <laughs> but they were right. See? That's the way the character was at the time. That is incredible. Well, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for Yes, and I hope you enjoy the convention and stay uh, hydrated. And uh, I hope I was all right. <laughs> okay. Until next time, bye. <laughs>